Hello and welcome to this presentation about the Energy Risk Professional degree. My name is Alexander Janis and I want to show you how I mastered the Energy Risk Professional exam in 10 steps. Step number one, you should absolutely start very early with your reading material. There's a lot of material to absorb and you should have at least six months, I'd say, before the exam. And a small tip is you can also just buy the material on Amazon or from the library because this will end up uh, being much cheaper than buying the um, exam prep package from GARP which is I think around nine hundred dollars or so and if you buy the books by themselves it only costs uh, maybe a hundred bucks and uh, I'd absolutely recommend you do that step number two take notes while reading even though this seems uh, intuitive it oftentimes nobody does this I think if you if you read the textbooks and also take notes it will be much easier for you to review everything and will will consolidate your memory much better step number three regular reviews you should review your notes diagrams and uh, earmark pages every couple days or so or at least each weekend and I think this will really help you keep perspective and reinforce those uh, concepts that you absolutely need to know and in a week prior to the exam I would review daily step number four explain it to others if you can I think you should study together with other candidates in your area or at least an internet study group for the exam um, but this will only make sense once you've become familiar with the material a little bit because if you know nothing then it will just be a waste of time and also you will waste your time if the others haven't read the material so another trick is also just to explain it to people who you know for example your parents your children your wife girlfriend and um, you know this will point out your weak spots as well and will absolutely help you prepare step number five practice questions it's I know it, it's not easy to find practice questions about the exam since it's so new but you should at least solve the exam that's on the GARP website or you can if available enroll in a class to to um, practice within a practice exam step number six take a day off right prior to the exam that has helped me a great deal I actually took two days off um, because it's never a good idea to go into overdrive right before the exam day so you want to have at least an easy day right before the exam step number seven research the exam center this has helped me a great deal since um, there was just almost no information on the campus and I took uh, the, the exam at uh, UCLA and there was just nothing so I was very happy I went there one day in advance and uh, looked around um, you know it just helped me a great deal to uh, know where I was about to go step number eight bring your own lunch um, this is another one that I think is quite important even though nobody else did this everybody crammed into the cafeteria or was looking for a restaurant for something to eat while while I was just sitting there eating a sandwich and, and relaxing so I think this was a big advantage over having to scramble to find something to eat um, also make sure that you have something to drink for the exam I know that um, the official line is that there is no food or drinks allowed in the room but I placed a water bottle just right next to my chair and, and nobody complained step number nine don't discuss the cu curriculum right before the exam so this is a big one I think right before the exam you should really focus your energy on what's about to come because it's I mean there's a lot of questions and it's a long exam so you want to keep all your energy for this and not get nervous about certain things you may have forgotten or just just be sure that you know be polite but I wouldn't start discussing the uh, 
specific questions right before the exam. Step number 10, finally, take it step by step during the exam. So be sure you solve every question and uh, you will have enough time. I mean, in, when I took the exam, there were people done within 45 minutes. So um, time is not an issue, but you should absolutely attempt every question and always make a mark inside the exam book, even if you're not sure, because you may run out of time and you will not want to leave any questions blank. So I hope this has helped you. Also, I, of course, recommend the Vivera Concept Checkers as a resource for you to drill the most salient concept for the ERP exam, because I think this will really help you in your exam prep. So why don't you head on over right now to check them out. Go to vivera.clearmountainpublishing.com. Thank you.